uh, written by Utah Fiddle Phillips, not Fiddle. <laughs> and, uh, like that. Between uh, 1854 and 1929, there were about 200,000 neglected and orphaned children that were shipped via rail from the eastern seaboard cities to the Midwest and the West. And uh, the, the trains were called orphan trains. And the trains would make scheduled stops at farming communities and, and uh, small towns. And the, the families that needed uh, children to help work on the farm or just, just needed children would come and uh, interview the, the kids. They'd line the kids up on the uh, train uh, platform, uh, interview them, um, you know, poke them, inspect them, and feel their muscles. And the ones they wanted, they, they would keep. And uh, the ones that weren't chosen would get back on the train and they'd go to the next stop. And um, some of the kids were adopted into loving families, uh, the records show and by others became uh, strictly indentured servants. And uh, of course, orphan trains were credited as being the, the start of our current foster child care system today. And some of the uh, more famous, uh, or infamous, should I say, orphan train writers have been uh, former governors of Alaska and North Dakota. Former governors. Former governors, right. Yeah. <laughs> not current governors. Yeah, yeah, not and also Billy the Kid, I found out, was an orphan train writer. So, this uh, song is called Orphan Train. Once I had a darling mother, though I can't recall her name. I had a baby brother who I'll never see again. For the children's home is sending us out on the orphan train to try to find someone to take us in. I have stolen from the poor box and I've been the city streets. I've swapped the bars and poems for a little bite to eat. In my daddy's old green jacket and these rags upon my feet, I've been looking for someone to take me in. Take us in. We have rolled the open train. Take us in. We need
looking for someone to take us in.